Easy Crew back once again with another video and in this video as promised I'm going to give you a little insight into this new gadget called a Rascuzzy. Now a Rascuzzy is a circuit board that straps onto a normal Raspberry Pi and uh, you can use it as a hard drive on your sampler. You can also have it so that your Raspberry Pi is set up over Wi-Fi. I've got mine over Ethernet. Um, and basically use it as a SCSI drive and it takes up to with the with the interface that it's got it takes up to uh, seven I guess six or seven devices which is pretty cool so it's kind of like a SCSI to SD but only difference is you can have multiple instead of having SD uh, cards you can have multiple uh, devices you can attach sample CD-ROM images from Akai etc um, now I did actually used to create my own sample CD-ROM back in the day and uh, I remember it being involving SCSI and, and uh, co copying hard drives to, C uh, to CDs and stuff like that but it's been a while since I've done that but I would look into that if that would be something of interest but however you can create your far, your hard drives on here like for example i've got this quantum fireball 540s drive which is a, a an emulation of it and i'm able to save read and write to it uh via my uh akai s3000 and it works flawlessly it saves very quick as well there is some configuration uh, to consider. Um, I had to go online and you know find a tutorial. There are some tutorials that you know they're quite in depth. But just for a quick heads up, the one that works with the sampler uh, was uh, this simple, easy install one, and I used the kind of minimal installation, not the f not the full on one, just the basic installation that just boots up on its own and it goes straight into the Raspberry Pi, kind of like Liberalec if you're using Kodi with just go straight into Cody kind of kind of thing anyway no not getting into all that but yeah um, and it's 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 quite quite a cool little device you could have it in your sampler and use it to kind of you know access your sampler via Wi-Fi if you set up the wireless network I would say um, so far I haven't actually been able to get it to work with the wireless network but I'm pretty sure you just connect a screen to it and you go for all of the configuration instructions so guys I just wanted to give you a heads up and show it to you and show it to you guys in action so peeps as you can see look I've got my um, SCSI to SD sitting on the test bench there and I've got a partition here that's saying hard drive volume 1 volume 2 and you just literally would go to here go to save and it's like using a hard drive on an Akai S3000 if for those of you you know who have done that before needs no introduction and you just hit wipe save look and it says inactive and look how quick it saves it just saves like lightning super quick super cool this is pretty much a full memory on the sampler you do all your hard drive partitions as you would you know using a hard drive on the Akai similar to if you was using the SCSI to SD or even an external hard drive because I've messed with some of the compact flash options which I've got in my other samples like this and it's a similar process basically but the only difference is you don't need any hardware look it's saved already this is pretty much a full memory you can go to rename and you just rename the volumes just for that argument's sake now I'm just gonna name it you know new name and you're done you know and you, you've got everything saved and then once you when you finish you would just save your configuration on your user interface so to load now just go to here go go to load select the hard drive obviously the SCSI hard drive as you see there I've got um, and now remember each one of those partitions or no, each one of those slots on the web interface that you set according to what channel you set it to uh, becomes a different device on here so it'll recognize up to five you know five, five devices on here so I, I've got it on number five so I go to there and then I just go to clear memory load and I do that and look at the speed that's loading at now on the hard drive side of the Akai it's much faster than lo loading to floppy whereas the floppy emulator emulates the speed of the floppy right that's all loaded now and let me just do that one more time so we can have a look at the interface and as you can see there's a little light flickering on it you know and the only thing is about this is you, you can mount it externally like we're saying about the DB25 um, connectors you can see you've got a DB25 connector here this is for external 
connection. Uh, this kit you can get from Tindy, or you you can build it yourself if you want to get into all the soldering and all that plover. You can buy it pre-built from a uh, company like Amiga Kit. They're really good. They've got an eBay shop and they've got a website as well where you can buy this. But guys, if you don't know what you're doing, then you might struggle to get this to configure this and, and set it up. So there are also other options where you can actually buy. Uh, these with external cases 3d printed and stuff ready to go out of the box apparently you know allegedly i can't give you the exact defo if you know on on and endorse them because i haven't actually had one to test it so i can't tell you that it will definitely work the way it, it you know the way the way it should i do know these ones they're pretty quick and easy for me to configure you get these from amiga kit as well these are the scuzzy to sds uh and they, they don't have any wife or anything like that, nothing cool. But look, you can get a 3D printed case for it. It sticks right into the slot there if you want to go that direction. But if you also want to use the uh, the GoTech for compatibility of getting, you know, my ROMs, for example, my images that I make for these, uh, which is, you know, a cool thing, then, you know, you might want to still have this in your machine uh, and you might want to maybe find some way of mounting it inside like for example look, here's a Raspberry Pi uh, one that I've got in here um, yet I'm going to test this out with the Raspberry to see if this works as well um, but I haven't got around to that yet so I'll let you know and find some way of mounting it but you know I would think it would have to be a screw sort of mount if it's not screw mount then you're going to kind of struggle because uh, you know if you try to use like hot glue or something like that these samplers tend to get quite warm and this thing might start moving around having said that if it's sitting in the rack and it's not going anywhere and you're not gigging with it then it, you know you might just want to just leave it sitting there and stick it in the rack and set it up and, and away you go kind of thing but at the moment just for test purposes i've got mine out of here i've got an hdmi connection uh, in case I wanted to use my monitor outside and the monitor would just be for configuration purposes because this version of uh, the RAS SCSI just goes into straight boot and only for configuration purposes you would go into there. But how I've got it, once it's set, it's like set and forget. You leave it. If I unpower it, it will just power back on and go back onto the same IP address. Uh, hopefully static IP address. Uh, don't quote me in it guys you know much about this comment down below and let me know this is my test machine by the way um i've also got other akai's that i want to try this rascuzzy out on if you want to see that video guys comment down below let me know yeah right guys let's go and uh, check out the web interface and uh, i'm going to show you guys how that's all set up and how it all works and as you can see here at the moment i have got a uh, best service disco fever um cd-rom now this was an iso file but what i had to do was i had to go to uh the rename function so over here so for example i would go so it says it's attached why don't you do it but say you go to here and you just change the extension to, to from iso to dot hdr because when i tried using isos um it wouldn't work it just said hard drive error and then I looked online, I found something in the wiki and um, yeah, I it was able to simply just change the extension to H uh, to HDS and it works really flawlessly. And all you do when you want to use it is you just like you mount and unmount your disk, your disk images and you put them onto the SCSI ID that you want. Now on your sampler itself, um, I believe SCSI ID 6 is reserved, I think, for the sampler or whatever. So I wouldn't put anything on there. But SCSI 1 to 5 works fine. And what you do is you put different, you know, you put a different hard drive on, on each sort of SCSI. Um, and you can just access it and use it to save and load. I believe you can just like, um, you, you upload the disk images as well. Say like, for example, here, you would upload from here. And it uploads straight to your SAMP, to your interface, and it sits here in a kind of like a box or whatever. And you can also download the images once you unmount them, you save to it. You can also save the state I've got here. Look, work, Akai's 3000 are working. And then you could just sort of save over it, for example, and it would save the configuration of like your 
um, set up. Now, some of you guys put this put me onto this. If I missed anything, please comment down below. Let me know um, on you know on on ways that you use your raw SCSI and um, and what you use to save your Akai images. So yeah, so here's the compatibility list. So far, on the back, it's got various connectors, uh, the DB25, or you can you can. Um, connect it via internal SCSI or external SCSI however you want I've got mine running the internal SCSI and it works fine that's connected onto my ACK I'll show you an image of that um, here now it says here big up caveats uh, whoever that is but big up to you it says Akai SCD-ROM images may need the extension HDS to be mounted as H and be mounted as HDD images which works perfectly now just another thing I'll show you um, there are various other samplers where it says it's not tested uh, like the 3200 um, and you've got the S5000 and S6000 um, which is also not tested I, I plan to test this on the 5000 anyway to see what you know how it works um, and uh, it does work a treat on the C, on the uh, S3000 um, and I guess the S2000 should work fine as well as it says here and it's compatible with, as well with the MPC series, like I think the MPC 2000 and the, and the 2000 XL. The, all these other ones are not tested. So it'd be nice to know, guys, if, if any one of you guys out there have had it working with any of these machines on the screen, any of the EMU samplers. You know, let's kind of like share knowledge and, uh, you know, get together so that, to help each other out there. Because this kind of hardware sampler world is quite a lonely place to be... Uh, getting information from and uh if you go to the wikipedia on the github for the rascuzzy there's a ton of information on there some stuff that's worth sort of looking at and just comment down below let us let us know guys these are the Ak akai tests here look configuration etc and uh yeah let us know how you get on do you you know do you know how to convert your sd cards to images to upload on here you know that there's a lot of potential and stuff that you know I wanted to bring to light. So, guys, if you've got any questions, pop it down below. You know, I'm going to show you guys it working now on on, on my sampler. You can see it loading um, and, and so on and so forth. So I actually think this is a good option um, if you want to use the RAS SCSI, um, but it does take a little bit of technical. Uh, knowledge whereas with the if you compare it with like the SCSI to SD um, the SCSI to SD tends to just work pretty much once it's configured and you're just a case of using your SD until it's packed and then you just change the SD card and pop it in so I find that the SCSI to SD would be a, le a, a lot less um, you know farting around with than uh, using the RAS SCSI although having said that the RAS SCSI is a good also a good bit of kit so guys um, also, guys, we just hit 11k uh, subs on the on the channel. I'm so happy about that. Um, I just want to say big up to everybody. Thank you for that. Uh, next milestone is 12k. See see how long it takes for us to get there. So, guys, um, if you're getting anything out of this video, please subscribe, share it with your friends, and uh, turn on notifications and give it a big thumbs up. So that's it for today's video, guys. Take care. God bless. Peace out.